AcraHipHop.com, the reporter, newspaper, online.com. This is Cat Israel with Akron Local News. Honest, fair. Okay. Let me say it one more time, just in case you don't know the Browns going to the playoffs this year. Honest, fair. Black everywhere. Speaking of black everywhere, so we at the office right now. We're going to touch on a couple of topics for your viewing pleasure. Uh, first off, uh, when, when I get to this, uh, you know, this article, you know, I ain't good with iPhones. I keep telling you all that. Now, I know Miss Purr say go to your phone, send my smartphone, smartphone, but I'm not smart. That's why I use Android, but you see I got an iPhone, so whatever. But, you know, you click on the online.com, get to the article. Uh, this particular article is Mayor Horgan issues statement regarding personal experience with COVID-19. Now, you know, last episode, I touched on it a little bit about Mayor Daniel Horgan catching the COVID-19. So in this article, we're going to paraphrase his specific words on what he, uh, how he contacted COVID-19 and how he's uh, dealing with uh, catching COVID-19. So paraphrase, this fall, like many others in our community, I was tested for COVID-19 after experiencing qualifying symptoms. My symptoms were cold-like and lasted approximately a week in total. I was tested for COVID-19 out of an abundance of caution and unfortunately the results came back positive. I follow all workplace protocols and directions from Summit County Public Health regarding quarantine and as did any affected members of my household. I am pleased to report that I and my family are doing well. So, end quote. So, in saying that, you know, like once again, we give a big shout out to Mary Daniel Horrigan. And, you know, as a leader of our community, the leader of our city, it's nice to see our leaders show, you know, personal experiences through, you know, t- trying times. You know, he contacted COVID 19 and he's telling the people, all the things he did through his experience, uh, how he combated, uh, you know, the uh, COVID-19. So in saying that, once again, shout out to Mayor Horrigan. You know, get well soon, and I hope your family get well soon also. So in saying that, next up is sports. Now, you know I'm going to touch on the Browns a little bit, but before I touch on the Browns, you know, 9 and 3, touch on an event that's coming up on birthday, yeah, you know, February 20th. You're going to see Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. versus Jake from State Paul's brother, Logan. Now, you know, when I was thinking of Jake from State Farm, I'm like, you know, his name is Jake Paul. I'm like, I didn't think his brother's going to name Logan. You know, when I think of Logan, I think of Wolverine. You know, I'm a Marvel comic fan. But, like, I really want him to see Jake, too. I wanted him to knock him out specifically because he did what, you know, Nate Robinson like that. He did wrong, son. But, you know, Logan talking smack too. And, you know, Money Mayweather say, hey, you call me out. You want some? Come get some. So the fight going to be on February 20th. And I can't wait to see it. And honestly, I hope that uh, Jake from State Farm do a rematch with my boy. You know what I'm saying? Nate Robinson. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't got him out here. You know what I'm saying? Looking like this. So, you know. I had to say that. No. Ha ha David, you know, shout out to him too, man. He's funny, man. But that's where I got that from, by the way. But yeah, that's gonna be interesting to see. So be looking out for that real soon. Now, next up is gotta talk about them Browns, baby. Nine and three. Boy, man, they put a spank on the Titans. Now I was looking on the timeline, see a couple of my homies into my man, I wanna uh I know Tennessee go win, they go blow up the Browns, man. Put, you know, all that. I'm looking like, I don't know, man. You know, Cleveland be, they good stopping the run, like, wait, you know what I'm saying? And what happened? Man, Baker Mayfield caught fire, y'all. Four touchdowns in the first half. I mean, people, Jones was going off. You know what I'm saying? Tight ends were going off. You, you know, you know, Nicholas Chubb went off. You know, your boy, oh, my God, he was just powering through everybody like a, like a, a snow plow or something. You know what I'm saying? And Kareem Hunt did an awesome job, too. And, hey, man, shout out to the Browns' defense, too, man. They held it down for real, for real. Now, I know you're going to say in the fourth quarter they gave up the touchdowns, but they was playing out to lose. They was told to do that, you know what I'm saying, rather than lock them up. The game was basically over. 
you know, but you know, you know, Baker made that little, you know, hiccup. But to his defense, in my opinion, I don't think he fumbled the ball for real. For, I think it was just a bad call, all in all. But at the end of the day, man, shots here, Browns, man, they 93 going to the playoffs. They're looking at that third or fourth seed, you know what I'm saying, depending on how the standards come out. So, saying that, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to hit us up on our timeline. Don't forget to like, click, and share. AcuraHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. Subscribe to the newspaper hard copy and subscribe to Acura Hip Hop TV on YouTube. So, in saying that, this is Cat Israel, Acura Local News, Honest Fair, Black Area. Wiowski.